what's up everybody this is King Rich here and I'm coming to you from Tony Booking. Uh, today we're going to do it once again a little different, we're going to be dealing with uh, relationships. Um, one thing that I came across that um, I wanted to really touch on was dealing with um, people want to get into relationships for the wrong reason. I mean often times, you know what I mean, growing up, most of you made the same mistake including you know what I'm saying? I, I, some of you are still doing the same mistake now. Like, you are getting into a relationship, not for what you like or what you prefer, but based on what other views and what society view it and accept for who you want to be with. Meaning, like, for example, um, I see now everybody, like, I'm talking the male uh, perspective-wise, everybody are dealing with the fact that Ooh, they want to have a girl with a big behind and, and if they don't have that, you know, they're not going to feel accepted by the homies and things like that. Well, which is absolutely wrong, but you can, can have this style of view. If you really prefer that, that's fine. That's just you. I mean, if you're just getting that or you're pursuing that because you want to be accepted by the homies, then you're in it for the wrong reason. And um, it's so superficial and shallow that you can find yourself being alone most of the time or getting in your relationship with the wrong people and having um, getting your, 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 your feelings hurt or some, something like that. Um, so I don't think you should do that and uh, we need to work on that. Uh, I don't know why the female do, but I know some, sometimes I heard that um, some really, some of them just get into a relationship because of uh, their friends, what, you know, this guy don't look a certain way and this and that missing the part that that guy really loved them for who they are. So this is where we have a little problem um, in this relationship these days. Um, not that that's the only factor that plays into the breakup and all the cheating that's going on, but sometimes if you're look, really searching for somebody you want to be with, you need to really focus on the heart, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, Find why it's good for you. That's your in your heart. That interests you compared to like the superficial thing, material things, cars, whatever, and so forth and so on. All right. So now let's move on. We're gonna go to the question. I have a question. Uh, this question is asking how many times have you been in, in love? Well, for me, I've been in love in love um, several times. You know, uh, I'll say about four times that I was really in love. Um, Next question, do you think it was real love because you can love a person and they don't feel the same? So is that considered being in love? Well, the way I look at it is like, um, some people including me really was in love, even though the other uh, party didn't feel the same way about me. Um, however, that doesn't mean that I was in love, you see what I'm saying? So me, in my position, I was in love, but however, I was in the same phase, you know what I mean? I was more into, I want to settle down, start, get married, and so forth, but for them, it was more to be to like, I still want to have fun and, and, and play the field and, and, you know what I'm saying, take the cake and, and do other things. So we were in, we were in, a diff, in different phases, all right? So, but still, I was still in love, all right? Um, next question. Came for Tanya. She's asking, um, do you hate your exes? I mean, <laughs> really, that's a good question. Um, you know, at some point, you, everybody do in some kind of way because they feel deceived or duped because the uh, other person wasn't really into them like they expected, right? So you know, but I think that's just part of the hurt. But once you go past that, you learn that, you know what, you find that you find somebody better or, or, or when you let, let it go, you know what I mean, find somebody better. But to answer your question, you know, I don't hate all my exes. Actually, I thank them for the experience for the time, you know what I mean, to find who I am. You know what I mean, to not only that, to discover my true love, my true beauty, the person that I really wanted to be with. So there's no grudges, you know what I'm saying, I still got love for them, you know. You know, I help them, they need help, but, um, you know, holler them, what's up? But other than that, man, I don't hold no grudges, I just let it go. You know, it just sometimes you just have to move on, all right? 
So um, if you have any more questions out there you want me to answer to hit me up. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube page at Tony Bootcamp. And also or you can just Facebook me at Tony Bootcamp. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer your question. If you have anything that you're dealing with, dealing with fitness-wise, relationship-wise, and uh, things like that. Yo, I'm here, man. The big brother you know, he never had. All right? Let's keep loving one another. Peace. Tony Bootcamp. Everybody let me see the way you got it, move. Hey.